Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a great holiday. This was kind of a surprise purchase, probably my last one for 2020 since there are just a few more days. So it came in this box and this is like the holiday tag. This is from the pre men's pre-spring 2021 collection. This is from the tapestry and this is the baseball cap. So this is woven cotton. And I basically wanted to collect something from this collection because I did really like the pattern and I especially like that it's actually woven in and not just a print. And you can see the way it's woven in has that diagonal line through it because I guess that's just the way kind of it's woven into like a denim pattern. And it's not as obvious that it has the monogram, which is also what I like about it. It has more interest to it. It, it looks like a foliage pattern that's interwoven through the signature LV monogram. This cap comes in two sizes, 58, which is like a medium and a 60, which is more like a large, but it is adjustable. I think my regular cap size is more like a 56 which I believe correlates to the centimeter circumference of, of your head or of this part that caps your head. And I definitely like the leather strap on the back. I think that's what finally sold me on this because I like wearing my cap backwards as well, especially if it's not sunny outside. And it is leather. It's not the Vaquetta or Vachetta leather. It's already, I think it's treated, so it's not going to patina over time. And I do like the solid brass or plated hardware. It's not thin, which I like. It's actually quite substantial. And it is adjustable. So for me, I'm using the second to last adjustment, which fits pretty snugly for a 56. I think if you open it all the way, it's probably bigger than the listed size of 58. So I think if you if your size is larger than a 60, I think you can still get a 60 and you can adjust the the strap in the back. So this in the tag, you can see it's a size 58. It has Louis Vuitton on this side here, kind of like a gross grain fabric. So the outside is cotton and then the lining is a mix of cotton and cupro. Cupro is like a silk alter alternative so it has a smooth texture but I think the cotton helps it not be as delicate. And then the strap is 100% calf leather made in Italy. The item number is MP2871. This retails for $635 in the US. This still has the tag, so you can see. I will say the only thing that bugs me about this cap is it's not a traditional six panel construction. It looks that way from the top. You can kind of see one, two, three, four, five, six, almost like a pinwheel. But the front is actually one piece. And I can understand why they did it because they wanted to keep the monogram as like one one pattern in the front rather than break it up because it would look odd if they split it in the middle and it didn't match up and it's definitely a lot easier for them to do it this way rather than have it two separate pieces and then have it match up which it's gonna be hard when they're producing so many of these to have it perfectly match up and the reason why I don't like this which I'll post some pictures on Instagram. You can see from the profile view, what happens is this kind of juts out. It's kind of like a trucker hat. That's, they usually have a panel in the front with like a big logo or some sort of big graphic illustration in the front and that's why they construct it kind of this way. You can see this part where, I don't know if you can call it kind of a dart to make it shape up this way, it protrudes. Whereas in a traditional six panel construction, this has a smooth curve. And when you put it on, these two corners kind of end up sticking out quite a bit. And when you put it closer to your head, to your head these two parts kind of go down like that. 
which is not the greatest look. So the way to avoid that is not to fully wear it on your head, if that makes sense. Or what I plan to do most of the time is actually wear it backwards because I really do like the, the way the color of the leather contrasts with this dark indigo blue denim color and also like the brass hardware as well. So that's kind of my, my issue with this one. But I do really like the pattern and I didn't really want to get another bag. I haven't been using my bags, but I do wear baseball caps and I actually don't have one from Louis Vuitton. I have one from Dior and Gucci. This one probably is one of my favorite except the, the panel construction, but I do like it. This also doesn't have like a bendable interface. So even if you try to bend it, it's not really gonna stay unless you water treat it and dry it maybe. So I might kind of, I do like it a little bit more bent and that might help with this issue as well. So I might kind of try forming it a little bit. So here you can see a little bit more detail of the stitching. The surprising thing is it looks like there are three colors, but there's only white and the dark blue thread. And the way they were able to make kind of this in-between tone is how closely the threads are kind of stitched together, the diagonal pattern. So that's also what I like. It's, it's a bit of a halftone pattern. And then that's just the receipt. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And I hope to see you next year in 2021. Hopefully I'll have more Louis Vuitton items and more haul. hauls when I can start traveling again.